Okay, so here we are, we're back again. Um, as you can see, I've... Um, let's get this into some sort of camera shot where you can see it probably better. Probably best not touch. Oh, dodgy camera. Hang on. There we go. We get the chrome going on. This is Monoto uh, Liquid Chrome. I may change that over and put um, bare metal foil on there as I've recently just purchased some to try out because I've never tried it before. Uh, recommended by quite a few people. This is bare metal foil which runs all the way down there. You can see it on there and across the door sill just there. Um, I had to use that cause this this area here was just a little bit too thin to try and paint in, but I've given it my best shot, and it doesn't look too bad. Um, I've started filling in the front end of the motor now, so it's got the um, fan shroud. God, gone out of camera shot again. We've got the fan shroud here on the front installed and painted. Uh, what is it? Sat in black, I suppose you'd say. I think what the other thing is here. So there's the wiper motor. Um, I've lost a part here and I can't seem to find it and I can't locate a number on the sprue, but I suppose this is the brake. Uh, cylinders up this end and the other end I told you I'm not very good with these so I have to um, okay so that's the blower motor I'm assuming that's for the uh, keep getting it out shot blower motor so I'm assuming that's for the um, air, not air conditioning the ordinary ordinary blowers that you'd find in the inside of the motor that you turn on um, so that started, that's lucky, that's getting on. Um, here we have the interior. I'm, I'm recording this on my phone, a slightly better camera, but unfortunately everything's back to front and upside down and it's a bit confusing, um, but yeah, that's that's that. And we're also losing some frames, so I'm sorry if it fades out or goes oh, just like that. Uh, but that is, I might be able to change the camera angle here, probably give you a better look on it. Let me put that back down. Oh, slam it down. Let's see if we can change the the camera angle. Oh, don't want that in shot, do we? All right, let's try this. Change it over. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's the interior. If it will focus. Sorry, I've got to hold this camera. Um, there we go. It's focusing. Dash dashboard is all done. I used um I'm getting there a little bit closer. I used the Tamiya flat panel oh, black not flat black panel liner to do the dash and that was over Molito Chrome. Um we have the it's not very easy to do. We've got the red lights on the inside of the door. Come on, focus. We were working properly earlier. Getting now focus, focus, focus. Tell you want focus right through. Oh god, I can't get that bit. 
here. Red door light. All the switches look well. The lights in the doors, accelerator, brakes, etc. Let's have a satin gloss coat over the seats. Not too flat otherwise. Uh, all the knobs and switches and bits and pieces. Like I said, it's a detailed kit. And there's some nice bits and pieces. So that's the tub. I went in and re-chromed. re, -chromed. re -chromed me, uh, excuse me, front and rear bumpers. So they're now a little bit more glossier. They look like chrome or stainless or whatever you want to call them. Uh, excuse the arm, reach in. We've... Sorry, I say we've, I've started the steering wheel, needs another coat of white, because the pink is starting to show through, can't see it very well unfortunately, sorry about that, um, now, there's your, air filter, and the top of the no, it's all gone out of focus. Top of the washing bowl. Um, so that's that. Um, what else have we got? Probably not going to be able to see most of this, but I've got all the battery, the aircon lines, um, horns distributor, uh, there's a filter down there, there's a radiator hose up here, um, so they're all painted ready to go on, um, all of these bits have still got to come off the sprues for all the back, but that's the stage we're at, so like I said hopefully at the end of this vid we will uh, I'm going to change camera again because this one's just not focusing moving it around and it makes me feel a little bit seasick that's the way it is so there we go change camera uh, so yeah I'm now at basically I'm now at major assembly one thing I didn't show you was I rescued the convertible back end so move the chrome tree out of the way or chrome sprue depending on where you are in the world um so yeah we've now got this back in place which is what I wanted in the first place Convertible, I think you call it a convertible boot. I don't know. Um, but I am going to leave it unglued because at some stage if I could just quickly chuck that on there. Quickly put that on there. So chuck it, place it would be, place it would be more wrapped, wouldn't it? And chuck it. Let's fit that in there slightly. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep the option of being able to just slide that on there slightly. Having the convertible roof on as well, as and as and when I want it. So I can display it like that, or I can display it with the with the boot. So. Hopefully, when we come back, um, this car should be complete. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are back with the finished 1959 Cadillac Eldorado monogram kit. 
124th scale, I believe. No, 125th scale, sorry. Very, very detailed kit. Not disappointed with this one at all. Uh, finished off with um, Impel White, which was a white base and then overcoated with a pearl clear. Hard top or rag top. Sorry, I don't know why I called that hard top. The soft top or rag top finished off in semi gloss black to give it that vinyl sort of look. Interior is white grey, excuse me if this is a look go carefully because this thing is just literally perched on the edge. There you go, it's just done a look off the side. So it's big. Only just sits on a, a wobbly turntable, but that is a beautiful car. I love this style of car, this styling. This Cadillac is gorgeous. This is one of my bucket list as well. I always wanted a model kit of a 59 Cadillac Eldorado. Just love those. Fins on the back, this bullet headlights. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Let's take the uh, top off for a second. I'm not going to be able to get in there as it stands, but I will uh, try and change camera. I will try and change camera. Yeah. That's focusing really very well. Sort of. There you go. Steering wheels on. Sort of vanity mirror. Of vanity. Give me words out there. Got vanity mirror on the passenger side. Wing mirror. There are tiny little fish, fit issues here on the um, lights. They don't quite sit down very well. Bit of a gap on that side, but it is what it is. Another video. Let's see if I can pop open this one second. I'll give you a view of the underside. There's the engine bay. So none of that is aftermarket, that is all model kit. Didn't come out too bad. Didn't come out too bad at all. Front lenses glimpse I put that in with um, white glue the PVA stuff so they don't frost up yeah overall I am extremely happy with this let's change the 
change camera show again. So yeah, there it is, my 1959 Cadillac Eldorado. Oh, I forgot to put this piece. That off. And this to sit back down. There you go. True convertible queen. I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.